shooting code has three arrows. What the hell are you talking about? Up, left, down. How is it? It, it literally says link three. Bro. But yeah, uh, this deck's pretty consistent for me. Uh, liter basically, all you really need is the structure deck if you happen to have purchased it. And uh, then I just added big bangs and power. Uh, the really nice thing is that the shooting codes will draw extra cards for you to help uh, make your plays work. And then I was running it like this. Uh, I don't like Link 1s in this build. I don't think they work very well. Um, but it usually plays nice with the Link 2 code talker. But I found a lot of the time you don't even need that. Literally just the shooting codes is enough. Uh, you can modify this if you um, are a Rush Duel player and don't have uh, three of the structure decks, you can just play two and it'll probably still work. Boom, easiest six arrows on the field of my life. Easy. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. We're here for another Rush Duel Grand Prix, week two of the new decks. Uh, we've already got kind of a feel for what the meta is likely going to... Why do you want six arrows? Uh, maximizes your damage boost. Technically, five arrows does, but... But yeah, if you were to play something like this as a, as a, a Rush Duelist... Uh, I would probably just do something like, uh, I can't remember. Does this one come into thing? Yes. Uh, boom. And then, I don't know, add some other, uh, you want to get two of those. Um, some other of the generic special, well, you can run three of these because they're farmable, right? Yeah. Uh, what else could you run? Well, no, you could get one one structure for free and one for gems. But anyways, uh, something like this and then just add one more. And this would probably work. Just my own little creation to uh, farm the event. I got pretty lucky on the, um, on the drop, so I've already finished it. But that's not, that's neither, rather, here nor there. Hello, Eli. Good to see you, my dude. Drewy. Uh, yeah, you could play mining, probably. Although, I don't think you want to discard cards uh, in that particular version, because you kind of want a critical mass to get to your Link 3 quickly uh, and, um, like, efficiently. Bulby, thank you for the raid. Elemental Hero Stratos, loving mechs. Good to hear it. I do enjoy the deck as well. I did end up cogging with Cybers. Obviously, it was on stream, but had I not done that, it would have been with the machine deck. It's a lot of fun. Speedy God, obviously, just showed you uh, what uh, my suggestion is for a deck um, to run it with. Uh, Muscovy, hello, hello. Goki is better. Uh, no. I swear to God, the, the Goki deck is like, you have two Gokis on the field, and it's like two Link 4s. What if we turn that into a Link 2? Uh, the Goki deck is absolutely terrible. Hello, Hunter! Welcome, welcome. Uh, so, 
We've had uh, uh, several more tournaments in the interim since the um, last uh, Rush Duel Grand Prix, and I think it is fair to say that Light Machines are definitely uh, putting in the bulk of the work uh, as far as um, stealing first places. Um, but it is not so overwhelming that we're in some sort of, like, uh, worrisome situation, at least not yet. Um, we've definitely seen some decent performance from Cybers. Um, Tomato single-handedly carrying, uh, Noodle Ninja. Uh, Royal Rebels has fallen off a little bit, but I do wonder how much of that is just people not playing it. Um, but yeah, who knows? Uh, we await further developments within the metagame as we go into week number two and beyond. If you are interested in joining today's tournament, which I would love to know and see, uh, where's Blue Eyes? Uh, but, 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 but in, in a tournament sense, it is uh, not doing super great yet. So, how many tournaments have we had? We have 28 deck lists, which is about four tournaments, I believe. Maybe five. So, in the tournaments, um, first one, two, three. Three first place for Light Machine. Um, Noodle Ninjas have a first place. Uh, Royal Rebels, no. Uh, Spellcasters, no. Aggro has a first. So that's the five. So three. So out of the five tournaments, three of them Light Machine, one Noodle, one Aggro. Um, Blue Eyes has only really managed top eight so far. Um, they were all in the Rush Duel Links tournament, number three. So that would have been... Um, two days ago. Uh, so there is still definitely some potential there. Um, new, uh, Royal Rebels hasn't had any tops since before the new stuff, so I think that's on the back burner for now. Uh, Spellcasters has some has a top since the new, uh, new decks. Uh, Aggro does, which is no surprise. Harpy still does. And then Cybers does. Yeah. Hello, Serena. Did I see the Rush Duel Links tier list? I did not. Uh, well, first of all, let me, let me go ahead. If you want to join the tournament, exclamation point discord, go to the Rush Duel Links Swiss uh, channel and sign up there if you need help doing so there is a help channel uh that can get you going you only have about 10 minutes so i would recommend being quick about it um but what what uh what does he rush duel links say as far as the tier list let's go take a look <clears throat> so updated yesterday so it looks like we are going with an SA, etc. tier system. So in S class, we have machines. A class, we have noodle ninjas and aggro. B class, we have royal rebels, magnum overlord, blue eyes. C class, we have cybers and harpies. And then in high potential... We have Dragons, Servant of Dawn, Thunder, and then untiered, we have Psychics. Why are we listing Isark? Okay. I wouldn't even put that in untiered. Um, yeah, I don't know if I agree with the Cybers placement. Cybers does not come across as... Um, one of the barely tiered decks. In fact, I would probably put that like 
up at A right now. It's it's the deck that's putting in work other than uh, machines, I think. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong on that. Meta seems healthy. There is some potential for it to drift too much in a certain direction. Um, but I will repeat what I said a couple times already, which is that for me personally, this is probably the first time I've enjoyed Rush Duel myself since December. During the December format where traps originally became a part of the metagame and there was like that mind game aspect of which monster do I attack um, with what boost, what what trades am I willing to potentially make, which ones do I need to make sure go through. I felt like there was a bit of strategy around even things as simple as the barrier. And so I did actually, and despite the fact that I felt like the way they hit dragons kind of was not the best for the meta, even though at the time I probably wanted dragons to be hit, I don't think they hit them correctly. But even despite that, I kind of enjoy, in hindsight, I enjoyed that format. Um, pretty much all the formats since until this one, I've kind of not liked. And, um, but this one I genuinely have actually enjoyed playing. So, you know, I think that speaks for something, at least from my perspective, that I actually wanted to play it, uh, seriously. And not just because. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, what are, what are some of the comments? Um... So, machines are kind of go without saying. I'm actually kind of curious. Okay. So, <laughs> Noodle Ninjas in A. Uh, Tomato saying, with the shift of players playing more trap-oriented builds. Can we call, like, two to three traps trap-oriented? But sure. The Noodle game plan has shifted dramatically, focusing on a more control burn style strategy. Having access to extra spices burn effect... Uh, we're able to inflict massive amounts of damage while hiding behind our myriads of traps to secure victory, sometimes burning for 3,000 damage in a single turn. The deck has a good matchup with most decks in the current meta, with the exception being aggro and machine, which can often apply far too much pressure through a defensive board. Uh, and Hylaster saying this deck has risen considerably since the last tier list, largely to the spread of a new variant, players have shifted away from the roastery and spice OTKs and towards generating value with extra spice and a lineup of defensive traps. Um, by providing burn damage and draw, the effects of opposing negate attacks are mitigated while simultaneously increasing the odds of finding your own legend cards first. I can agree. What meta on Rush? Um, so the metagame in Rush right now is going to be a mixture of machines, cybers, uh, noodles, um, harpies, um, magnum overlord, uh, which is going to be your, um, uh, your, your, um, maximum summon, uh, Yuga, uh, magnum, uh, aggro. And then Blue Eyes. Those are probably like the six or seven main decks in the format right now. Now, I do have a feeling. Uh, is that what I expect today? I mean... More or less, yes. Um, I think you may see an outmoded amount of blue eyes just because that's a deck that people own because it was mostly self-contained. Uh, you'll probably see harpies. 
You're going to see both of the Magnum skills just because they're decks that people have. I do think Royal Rebels will continue to be on the outs. You might see a slight uptick in just pure aggro. Um, I don't think you will see many noodle decks, despite being a fairly good deck. It's not just, it's really not played. And then by far the most played deck is going to be Machine, by far. Um, at least in my opinion. I could be wrong. I haven't looked at anything yet. Ooh, we actually had a lot of signups. I was getting a little concerned with, with potential signups, but goodness gracious, everyone just sort of showed up last second. Uh, Fionn, I see that you're struggling to get a deck list uploaded. So we're gonna we're gonna upload something to make sure that you uh, don't get dropped. Do a quick check to make sure that we don't have any speed duelists in today's tournament. So far, so good. We're finally training people. And sorry, I know this isn't riveting content, but I just want to get it out of the way really quick. Ooh, we found one. We found one. Get him out of here. Uh, we're actually going to take this opportunity to get the uh, ads out of the way. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Hello, Yami Kisara. 95 streak, five more to go. I have five more chances to ruin you before you get to your hundred. Frank Perrin, thank you for the follow. Uh, pack opening after? Uh, no, I don't think. I think it'll be 
quite a while after the tournament ends for uh for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like we have 34 after drops. Not bad. Not bad. I can cog in the meantime. So you want me to cog? So first of all, on... On a day that I work, so I need to actually go to bed, you want me to cog on something other than one of the new decks coming out in the new box. Let me make sure I understand that correctly. Why not? Yes. Oh, genius. Okay. Beyond, did you actually upload a deck list? No. Mm -hmm. So you can have the pleasure of trying the new decks against people with more than two fun. I'm in legend. What do you want? What more can you do? That is literally the most competitive place you can play other than a tournament. Let's Here we begin. Go. Get ready for the rush. Hello, issue. All right, we got Danger Man at the top. We got Zaga Zaga at the bottom. We're going to get two back row and a monster set. Uh, looks like a tribute set. Yes, so a two tribute set. I think we can guess what that probably is. We're going to go to battle regardless. Surprise! It's a Blue Eyes Bright Dragon. That uh, very nice 2500 defense, making it a wall that the Atra Shoot Hydron is not able to beat over. Okay, turn two. Oh, sorry, turn three. Activates a magical stream, destroying the negate attack. Gets in for a significant amount of damage. So we are splashing in the spellcaster engine that is provided in the uh, structure deck, the Light Sorcerer of Sanctity and the Light Sorcerer itself. Um, the cards such as Magical Stream and the like are growing in popularity due to the fact that there are now several back row pieces that you do want to hit, not just one. All right. You are good to go. All right. Is 
That's all well and good. But counterpoint, maximum summon. We're gonna go for the mill three, pop in the blue eyes. Um, outside of exactly some of the attack reduction spells or something like a light sorcerer, uh, light sorcerer of sanctity, uh, we may actually struggle to deal with Idrago. I mean, you're not wrong. We will just pass the turn. Activating acceleration, take out the buffered slime. One of those back row that we were just talking about that can be game deciding, although obviously not against something like Idrago. We are going to flip Torna face up. Down to seven cards left in the deck. Skill will make that eight. And that is just lethal. We go to battle. You're done. Game one. All right, game two. Don't sleep on cybers. Hello, Pro Manarchist. You are, in fact, first. Congratulations. Let's Here we begin. go. Get ready for the rush. It's our turn to set two back row, one in the front, and pass turn. Activating Blue Eyes Rain. We're going to return a card to the deck. Reveal Kaiba Man and grab a copy of Blue Eyes Bright Dragon. Kaiba Man activating his... Ooh. Very nice. Bring forth the Bright Dragon. Go for the Light Sorcerer of Sanctity. The Light Sorcerer itself. One back row. You couldn't ask for a better turn one on the offensive. Successfully taking out the Dark Femtron. We're now threatening up to 3,700 damage. Goes for the Buffered Slime here, trading the 37 for only 2,000 damage. Interesting. Oh! Turn to Idrago once again. What some of the three ofs that we're aiming for tonight uh, depends on what deck you want to play. Um, for example, Trap Tricks probably wants. Uh, ooh, pop in the back row. We got the accelerator. It was a. Tr oh, losing the tribute to the doomed here is painful. Obviously, you needed to set it to the field just to ensure that you get that draw. But, uh, ugh, that is rough. Gonna get in for 3,600 damage here. 
Uh, let me go take a quick look at the list again, and I'll give you my suggestion. Alrighty. Hmm. So, uh, Cyber Sage is probably going to end up being like a two of. Um, can't imagine it goes three, but you definitely want more than one, especially with that deck. Well, assuming that you want to play the 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 um, Dark Fluid style deck. If you don't want to play Code Talker at all, then you can just ignore Sage. Um, I believe Neptune is a two or three of for the agent deck. Let me double check. We will get the concession scoop. Well done, Zaga. All righty, let us find another match. Neptune looks like a, yeah, two to three of. Uh, three of in a lot of lists, but you could probably get away with two. Um, Mermello is probably a guaranteed three of. Uh, Disruptor Dragon, I would have to double check, but for the skill, you probably want, at, you need at least one, potentially two. Uh, Lone Flyer, Lone Fire, if you want to play a plant style deck, is easily a three of. Heritage for for the uh, any noble or infer noble knight deck is a three of. Uh, Renaud would be a three of, and then Boral Sword Dragon would be a one of. Uh, I think. Well, I mean, yeah, Mermello's effect is insane. When normal summoned, add a whole normal trap card from your deck to your hand. It's just a it's a pure plus. You can always get a you can always get away with running less copies. All right, innovator get ba boosted up to 5200 and that's going to be an easy OTK. Oh, you can absolutely do that, Kisara. You d you never have to run like "quote unquote" the optimal. You can make uh, work for you. Um, in trap tricks, as image. You're, you're, you you probably want three, but you can get away with less. I would say two minimum. Alrighty, we go to game number two. 
Machines versus Psychics. We're going to triple set with one back row. Going to go Bolticorn, lock down that back row. It is illegal to use. Taking out Double Candy, walled off by the Diviner. Add the Candy to hand. Speedy Performer into the Candy, Future Diviner. Then we're just going to go to battle. We don't care about that back row as it does nothing. Shield and Sword once again. Assault Cannon. Ooh, losing our negate attack though which uh hans is going to be able to use diviner for another draw returning diviner to the hand diviner for another draw activating our skill here we're going to add a copy of peace holder back to the hand Activate our effect here, shield and sword, to reduce, but will not actually stop us from dealing lethal damage. I'm guessing Yami Kisara probably doesn't have those. Uh, what Link decks in general do you have? Like, do you only have one copy of the new structure? Only live twins. Mm. Uh, we'll figure something out. Let's see if I can. We can figure something out for you later. Okay. Oh, that is. After a great game one and two, we are going to go Barrage of Steel, Bolticorn Recycle, into a Tribute, Activate, Draw Discard, Barrel Dragon hits, and that's just going to be lethal on a field. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate to encounter those non game. Trouble Sunny when. Limit one trouble sunny. Could be could be probably okay. Although I think the main thing that would help that deck is getting their extenders. Uh, but yeah, a Solidarity build could probably work. Play generic links with all of the same monster type and then just Baboos from Solidarity. We've got ourselves Steel Strike Dragon Metagius. We will, however, unfortunately be stopped by a turn one negate attack. SL effect go for the mill. Crafter drone into a barrel dragon. We're then going to buy corn, allowing us to do an additional tribute summon. Into the ultimate flag mech. Getting in for big damage, putting us down to 2400. Essel gets a million. We're gonna then gonna go crawling torso, adding a ghoulish gal back to the deck. Metagius effect. Go ahead and return the Metagius to hand, discarding to the skill. Siesta Toro get recycling. 
will be or will will be able to flip over and we will be able to go for a full clear here. Field and sword. This is putting us in a dangerous scenario. That back row is going to have to be big. And surely it is. Negate attack. Protect. Dragon's Inferno will all but seal the deal. Bring forth our one of multi-strike Dragon Dragius. Hello, PTRG. Yes, indeedy. Every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. If you have the roll, we will ping you for it. That's going to be lethal. Is the new box out yet? No. Like, six hours from now. Yes, Elmaz, you have some questions. What can I do for you, my friend? Two into a tribute set. Essel is going to get their effect. Did we not use Essel effect? And we are playing the Stockbuster Dragon. Interesting. Going to be able to go for the Innovator here. This will allow us to successfully clear. Gets in for some piercing damage. Phoenix Dragon Revive. Add back the Metagius. I'll answer your question in just a moment. The Estatoro using our effect here. Returns the Stockbuster Dragon. Seal Array get reducing. Attack one. Attack two. Oh, so close to lethal. Unfortunately, it looks like this will be it for this game. What does the stock thing do? Uh, what stock? What are you? Which which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the Siesta Torero or? Oh, the stock. Stockbuster Dragon. Uh, so the effect is kind of irrelevant. Um, if you're so, this isn't a situation where your opponent has five or more cards on the field. Uh, you can send a card from your hand to the graveyard. All face up level seven or lower monsters on your opponent's field lose fifteen hundred attack until the end of this turn. So theoretically, if they're ahead, you can summon this out and just nuke, like drop their field. Um, but. If they've got two back row, they're probably in a good spot. Uh, why are people running Rush Kribo and Blue Eyes? Because you get the Blue Eyes in the... Wait, don't... Okay, actually, before I answer that question, let me double check. Do you get Kribo in the Blue Eyes? You do not. Um, That's a good question. I, I mean, same reason you would play it, just to get additional tribute fodder. I don't know if I would personally play it, but a lot of people probably have it. Because they probably went in on, like, the first box or something. Or the new box. Yeah, the Karibot. Okay, we're going to go two into our Dragius. Activate its effect here. Dragon's Inferno popping the buffered slime. Attack one, attack two, attack three. Putting our opponent to 2,500. 
ultimate bond reveal the tough striker in our hand this will allow us to punish the dragius or rather just deal with it adds the ultimate flag beast to hand clears the board We're gonna go Essel into Innovator. Innovator can recycle one for the Pierce. That is a lot of damage. And here's where the Stockbuster could potentially come in to play. Can I extend the start of the tournaments? 30 minutes. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really do that for a single a single person. I can't... It makes me sad that I can't help, you know, uh, do stuff for everyone, but at a certain point, I have to... I have to account for both what I'm able to do and what um, what works for the most people. Leaves the flag mech up. Interesting. I'm not here next weekend, so can we move the tournament to another day? Um, isn't that weekend the WCS? Are there more rush tournaments you can join? Uh, yes. Uh, the main people you want to keep on for Rush tournaments are Quantum, uh, the Rush Duel Links Discord, and when they start doing it again, Starry Cat. They're the people, at least in the West, that have been doing, um, tournaments. Negate, attack, protect. Yeah, if you're if you're not already a part of the Rush Duel Links Discord, uh, I will copy uh, get a link for you. Do consider joining them. Really? So we could have activated our skill, added back the uh, stock dragon. Are we just admitting that we our back row is dead? Hello, I see you. Hello, draft. Uh, is it good turnout today for rush duel? Yes, we had forty signups and thirty four after drops, which for rush duel is uh, really good. At least in comparison to what it's been like before. Um, top hut simulator. Let's see what's going to be best for us today. Four rounds into a top eight. Does that work? No. Do we have to do top 16 still?
Mm. Well, Elmaz, you can always sign up and then just give up the first round. Uh, a lot of times in these tournaments, uh, so all X1 and then some X2 will usually top. How many dry ass do I got? I got three. Here we go. Get ready for the rush. All right, we got Luke Tyler at the bottom, Iserius at the top. We're gonna get three monsters set. Able to immediately Essel into another body, tributing off, allowing us to get some piercing damage over the Ancelor, the Magical Swordsman, Seven's Road Mage, get reduce in, reduce twice, Magical Stream, pop the back row, Ma uh, Maximum Overload, reduce even further, we're then going to be able to Torna for the, Ooh, that is not ideal, only taking out two and not getting in nearly as much damage as we took ourselves. We're going to double crafter drone, Barrage of Steel, takes out that back row, trading anti-back row for anti-back row. We're going to be able to get an aim eagle here, discarding, allowing us to add back the Avant Wolf. And then we will clear the board. Real Sora was killed by noodles, true. Tomorrow is such a hype day. Meta Weekly will be hilarious. We'll see. Um, as with all things, uh, day one tournaments, um, you need to be careful about. Um, and um, I'm hopeful that we'll see some new decks. I'm sure that we... Okay, let me take that back. I'm sure we will see some new decks for sure. But it's going to be like... Uh, that the day after through the rest of the week that we're really like basically towards the end of the week is when we're going to really see stuff. Day one tournaments are the best. The rules are made up and the points don't matter. True. Game two. So for evidence, I need to submit a picture. Uh, no, you don't have to submit anything, Sabtum. Um, that's just there uh, for your own benefit if you want to. It's a standard feature of Start GG. We do not require it. All you really need to do, is, at least my recommendation, is stay in the room until the match is confirmed. Once the match is confirmed, then you can leave. The only reason you would submit the victory screens is if you're concerned that your op opponent might try and, like, cheat you out of it after you both leave the room. It's like, if your opponent contests it and you can just say, hey, mod, come to the room, I can show you the score, then it doesn't matter if that makes any sense. Okay, activating maximum overload here. Goes for the reduce. Flips up the Sevens Road. Baboost. But only Baboost by 300. We're going to go Crafter Drone. Drawing a card here. Getting ourselves a copy of the Aim Eagle. Wait, did we just not use Aim Eagle's boost effect? Oh, because we're against maximum overload. We're afraid of putting our opponent in a position of being able to lethal us. Right. Hey, looks like we are going to go for it now, making the lethal push innovator. Baboost! Lethal! Piercing damage over. The maximum piece. 
Mm. Ah, I see, Luke. Thank you for the explanation. Looks like we are in round number two. Alrighty, we will have our next matches in just one moment. Quick reminder, this is going to be four rounds into a top 16. Um... Yes. A couple X2 will top. But you should aim for X1. Um, name Wait, what? But in the role, you mean the room? I can check Duelist ID, but I've seen that name before. I think it's correct. Now, one thing that is fun, I think, to note, a lot of people probably know about this, but uh, let me go ahead and bring it up really quick. Let's see, find it. So, after nearly six months of um, not saying anything, Konami on the Duel Links Twitter has apparently announced North American Duel Links Remote Duel Main Event. There is one for uh, Master Duel as well. But this is really cool to see. Um, I know these things may not always be the most exciting. 
But I think it would be really good if the community could rally behind this and show them that we would like to have more, uh, more of these. So if you're able to, uh, if you're able to enter, sign up, do so when it, when it, uh, I'll go ahead and share the link in the chat. I'm sure we'll get more information sometime. Uh, share, copy link. I just passed because I thought I was in the wrong room. Why? I mean, I can't, like... That's on you, Manarchist. I can't, like, punish your opponent because... You... Started a match against someone whose name you could see and then chose to just pass? Like, I don't... I don't know what to... Why would you have... If you were that concerned, why would you have started the match? <laughs> nah, dog. That one's on you, bro. Hello, Metal. As I didn't notice until we... You still should just... Like... <laughs> I mean, again, don't know what to tell you. That's on you, dude. Like, genuinely don't understand what you would expect uh, a person to do in that situation. Why, yes, your opponent... Okay, I, I apologize. I don't mean this. Uh, your opponent was a moron and uh, just passed for no reason. Uh, we're going to issue a redo. Oh, you, you opened a god hand? Sorry, your opponent was dumb. I just finished preliminary art for my original character. I look forward to seeing it. I'm ready whenever you are. Get ready for the rush. Okay. We are going to go speedy performer onto speedy performer onto can D. We're going to go for a clear here, getting in for 2,500 damage. Chaos Femtron returning the reset runner to our hand. Activating maximum Ragnarok. Reduce, reduce. Go for the Belspectimal money. Recycling two, reduce further, getting in for a partial clear. I do apologize, by the way. I didn't mean it like that. Just if you are ever unsure of something, just play it out. Ask afterwards. Or use a secondary device. Ask if my if it's correct, blah, blah, blah. Don't just ask. You should never do that. Three cards in hand here. We 
are able to take out the Femtron, but unable to deal with the Mani. You have to figure your opponent is always... Oh, we lost the check? Hey, why didn't we use it? What? Were we trying to save it for the life gain? Well, that doesn't feel right. Two free W already. Oh, I assume you mean like somebody didn't check in. Uh, well, hopefully, I mean, that's just bad luck. I'm sorry. Don't know what to tell you, dude. Uh, Giorfio not checking in is kind of unusual. Best spectacle money that we have to deal with here. He's playing a league right now. Makes sense. We are able to add the Roman pick back. We're going to be able to gain some value here. Yeah, so there is the Rush Duel League going on now, which may act... Like, I'm all for it. I'm, it's very cool to see. I will admit, though, it is a little potentially concerning about uh, tournament participation, at least in this one on the weekend, because that's when leagues uh, traditionally play. So we'll have to we'll have to keep an eye on that. We're able to add the Roman pick back to hand, which means we can resummon it, use it again. Is in June 50. It's something like that, yeah. Discards the magical miracle. Bring out the Prima Guitarna. And we are going to YOLO for lethal. Back row, be nothing. And it's nothing. Uh, putting a Challenger Cup on the same day as the, the KC Cup is certainly a decision. We can actually uh, double check that. Yep. <laughs> Come 
Come on. Come on, are you serious? You're not even advertising the regional qualifiers at that point. Bruh, why? Gee, we had lower than expected turnout. Why could that be? Who knows? Ah, they clearly don't want these anymore. <laughs> it's just silly. Why? Why, why, why? Ah, uh, hopefully people still show up for it. I can't wait to grind, to grind a KC cup. Hopefully nothing like Tachyon happens. I am a little tentatively concerned just because I think a couple decks do have the potential to be gigabusted. Uh, Agents looks like it could be pretty busted. Um, and, um, with the new support, Dark Fluid, you can have, like, eight card hands. Uh, Agents, Dark Fluid with the new support, um, look like they might be, um, really spooky. Ban prediction? I honestly don't think there's a lot to really ban right now. There's a few annoying cards, but with all that they're adding, I don't know if you hit anything. Heat wave still needs to be banned. I mean, yes, but I don't think Konami will see it as a problem, potentially. We do have the potential to do a lot of damage here. Ban the floodgates. I don't even think they're that big of a problem right now. Fifty fifty. Oh, we hit the negate attack. That's rough. Lethal off of the fifty fifty snipe. Uh, you think we will get Go Rush World this September? I honestly don't know. The obvious, I mean, the, the, the easy answer is probably. But there's part, there's also part of me that hopes that it's not. And not because I want to do any, like, I have anything against Rush. I'm just more interested in what they would do if it was a not if they had to come up with something else. That's the that's the world I find more uh, um, like intriguing. Hello, by the way, Sal, Guy Bassis, Mr. Clapper. Good to see you guys. Cross Duel World, D bro. Be still my heart. Don't say that. I'll get excited. Absol Monster World without... So, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that, Tomato. Unironically. Uh, also, Hans, what the hell is that hand? Imagine. I, I mean, imagine. So, isn't one of the products Konami's releasing is a... Um... 
a, a, co a collection of all the old Yu-Gi-Oh games? What if they did do a world where it's like versions of those characters from those weird, you know, those other offshoot games? Like you could play Duelist of Roses, Kaiba, and Yugi. All right, we snipe the card, one of the cards that would have let us live. Oh, Jesus. We do survive, though, but we did snipe the uh, perfect hit. I'm playing as Henry the Seventh. <laughs> Let's go! Forbidden Memories World. Hello, Shiro Kasi. I mean, at a certain point, right? Let's assume that... Okay, oh, cool. we're going to go ahead and check here. Would you like to pop it? Yes. Gain a thousand life points. All right. No back row to worry about. We could potentially go for big damage here. Question is, can we get to a state of lethal? Probably not. Um. Okay, so assume that they go with, uh, you know, uh, go rush world. All that does is put off the new world, a, a new world one more year and assuming that the game continues which at the current rate you would expect them to because the game has yet to like collapse what oh wait hold is this lethal that is eight thousand damage that's not quite lethal Did we really leave the bell spe- Oh, come on. Like, assuming- Like, you get to a point where they have to do something, right? I mean, yeah, there was nothing you could do there. You were going to be killed on the following turn. Fan Luna, hello. Sakadetsu, hello. Really? Let us go watch Manarchist. We're going to watch including game number one. Start GG stopped working for you. Try reloading. Uh, it's a terrible website, but it's the best we got. So we just pass here.
easiest lethal of our life. Game two. Average start GG moment. We are aware of the start uh, GG issues. Please stand by. All right, we sweating. We're going to Roman pick. Revive the candy, Roman pick back. Oh no, we bring out the future diviner. We're gonna go start here. Recycle as the candy back to hand. Not able to take advantage of that situation. Yes, Luke, it appears so. We're looking into it. Ah, yes. Yeah. So I, I went to down for everyone or just me dot com. Did start GG. It said it's just you. Start GG is up. And that was a lie. Uh, we're aware, danger man. We are. In the middle of a tournament using your website and it is down. Any idea when it is going to be back up? Thank you. Let's hope they get back quickly. We are 
are aware of start.gg being down, we are investigating. Oh, Luke, it's not just that. I We showed it uh, on stream, but they're also hosting the uh, Duel Links Remote uh, Challenger Cup or whatever at the same time. Bring it up. The North American Yu-Gi-Oh! Remote Duel Main Event Series are happening June 15th and 16th. With Duel Links on the 15th. I mean, you can tell Konami that it's probably not a great idea, but... Konami don't... Konami don't probably don't care too much, which is unfortunate. Continue here. Wait, hold. Is Star GG starting to work again? Hold. It might be back up. Let's double check. It's like loading. No, nope. okay, we're back down. I loaded in, but then it was like going really slow. God dang it. Mm. 
I mean, I don't know if it's region based. I haven't quizzed if people if people are having issues besides I mean, multiple people have said it. Not likely, Muscovy. Start GG has done this before. It's back for me. What are you talking about, Fan Luna? give it like 15 more minutes or something but if this continues we will unfortunately have to think about what we're gonna do Go to dueling book.
I do love that I can go to, like, how, how useful of a website is this? Well, this was a lie. Hold! Okay, it's like not... That was a lie. I don't know what to say, guys. This is really unfortunate and frustrating. can't swap in the middle of a tournament. I'm literally a single person running this. I don't have the ability to do it. I'm sorry.
What exactly would Easy do in this situation? Nah, uh, this, this feels like a start GG thing. It would be really weird if... Oh, I forgot his name. Crankshaft or whatever just randomly decided to show up out of nowhere in DDoS Start GG, which is technically owned by Microsoft, which would probably be not a smart idea to do. But who knows, that dude was, like, mental. But I think this is just a start, a start GG thing. Unfortunately. What is the the dude never wanted anything, Guy Bassis? He was just like mentally unhinged. For those of you that don't remember the saga of Crankshaft, he originally just started DDoSing different people and then said, Don't ban me. And people were like, why would we ban you? And he's like, because I'm the DDoSer. And they're like, why did you DDoS? And he's like, so that you wouldn't ban me. It was like the most ass backwards stuff. And he went out of his way to ruin our tournaments here for a while. Eventually, we uh, he got banned from... Uh, eventually, he got banned from most of the Western tournaments. Thankfully, we haven't seen any more of it uh, since then. So I, I doubt... I never actually went into that Discord call, Serena, just because I was, like, so angry at the time. Like, I'm gen gen genuinely and generally a really super chill person. And that's... That's one of the few times that I ever actively, like, hated a person. Like, I've never really hated anyone in my life. That was one of the few times in my life that I actually genuinely hated another human being. And I didn't like that I had to that I felt that way. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm like, I've gone out of my way to try and help everyone and anyone. So having that happen to me was just the most bizarre experience I've ever, honestly, ever had. Uh, it was the most ass backwards stuff, Yami Kisar. It made absolutely no sense. Uh, Hunter. Okay, but see, here's the difference. Playing ladder... 
Oh, okay, so first of all, we need to decide what to do here. I can't keep people in suspense. So we sent the notification at 12.09. It is now 12.30, so that's been 20 minutes. Um, Can't open the box. Bro. What do you want me to do? Go forward in time? Pre-open it. Um, no comment, tomato. Technically, everyone can go forward in time. We're all doing it all the time. It's just at a rate of one to one. Pre-open on DLM site. Ah, uh, yes. Guys, I opened great on DLM. Let's go! It's going to be just like this when we open the box. We're not going to go to the last pack, all three boxes. Don't YouTube... First of all, I'm not a YouTuber. My dude, I post my VODs to the YouTube. I have a grand total of 479 subscribers. Bro. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's more than Serena. Unironically, Serena might actually have more. I say that just because I, without knowing anything, there's a good chance Serena has more. Do a YLYL. What the hell is that? You laugh, you lose. I can't get through saying... That the that the uh, the uh, Sun Avalon deck ends on a single negate without laughing. You think I'm gonna get through a you laugh you lose? Are you serious? Review the meme review. Oh God. Well, I mean, we still need to make a decision on the tournament. I think we're going to have to cancel it at this point. Mm -hmm. Let's convert to a point battle. All right, literally never done one of these things before, but let us enjoy the DLM meme review. <clears throat> this week's memes. I normal summon dragon spirit of white. Then I choose to activate my skill. Hold up! Let me stop you right there. You have no right to call yourself a duelist. I mean, this has potential. But you would need to combine it with something else. You had one job Konami. 
Cool. New agent skill that interacts with Venus. Surely they re reprinted Mystical Shine Ball, right? How to obtain Flame of the Tyrant. Devastated. I mean, they're not wrong, but at the same time, this likely came out before the anniversary box. And the anniversary box technically fixed this, uh, this issue. But, not gonna lie, while this is not a funny, th this is how you should feel about the situation. If you're spending box chips on shine balls, that's the meme. Can I get an F for the Tenyi players? So we got... First of all, Abyss Dweller, these are all sampled. We couldn't actually grab the actual images. These are all the sample ones from the, like, image database. I mean, at least you kept it with the, the sample. I mean... It do be rough out here for, for Tenyi right now. Unironically, this might be the best one so far. We've all been playing Evil Jesse all along. What Konami expects us to do with Transcendent Crystals? I'm gonna summon out Rainbow Dragon! What we actually do. Okay. Okay. I mean, not wrong. Also, potentially canonically accurate. Okay, we have now found the best one so far. Corrected tier list. TPC reveals a confused PK with PK. Apologizes for the confusion. I mean, Mechlord posted it, so it's automatically bad. The joke here is that Mechlord made a meme post. Mechlord, I'm sorry if you're actually here. I love you, bro. The AI... The auto AI always finds a new way to amaze me. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's the auto AI that I know. Can't be the only one who sees this. I don't know the reference. Is this like a Five Nights at Freddy's thing or something? Back to the cycles. Waiting for a new box. Game update. New box announced leak. No Rika cards added. Damn. You know I had to when I saw him. Spectre, how big was the gat? This big. When do these get funny? That's the neat part. They don't. On the right track, Konami. 
<laughs> okay, unironically, that's... <laughs> Okay, this one actually got a genuine chuckle from me. 200 gems! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> the game is over. Well, unfortunately, the tournament software we use is down so yes uh, i will announce to the discord that the tournament is being canceled i do apologize But I don't know what else we can do. It just got back. You can't keep saying that, Marco. I mean... Wait, hold? Are we actually back? Um, try reloading start GG. Yeah, once we said that we were back, he was like, it's done. I can stop, but we're actually going to continue. Is it too late to join? Of course not. Let me just say that if it actually was you, Crank, you lost this one!
The evil has been defeated! Round three has begun. I appreciate everyone who sticks around for this. We'll go ahead and take a quick screenshot in case they anything happens again. So we know who's playing who. The woods revived it. Uh, tomato, uh, if you go to the event notification, um, you can see who your opponent is, um, if you can't, uh, this is start of the round. Uh, if you can't check in, ping me in help chat, and I will check you in. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, I can see it now. People are starting to check in. Um, you can see your opponents in the image above. So I will check. Tomato, you are checked in. Your opponent is Zaga Zaga. Just message him directly for now. Uh, Giren, I'm checking you in. Your opponent is Giorfio. He has not checked in or said anything yet. Rushing Riv. I'm checking you in. Your opponent is May 70. How long was it down for? Uh, let's say 30 some minutes.
you can Okay, we're going to negate attack, which is going to allow us to take no damage this turn, keeping our board. Phoenix Dragon is going to add the Metagius back to the hand, tributing an off for it. We're then going to go Siesta Torero, recycle, and get flipping Full Metal Fist, allowing us to double attack here, clearing the board. We're gonna go Trick Pigeon, Faith Bird here. The Harpy Lady Sisters here, we're gonna be able to Baboose and then we can skill Baboost again. We go to battle. a whistling bird. We are going to successfully snipe a princess recital here. Itami, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. What is Metagius' graveyard like? Well, I'll show you as soon as I can click on it. After cycling back a Metagius, a Stockbuster, and a Karibot, this is what ours is. Attack one! Attack two, get in for 1,200, pass back to you. How did your stream go, though, Itami? What were we doing today? We were doing some dual links, but what specifically were we doing, if you don't mind me asking? And which deck are you most excited for from the new box? Playing more back row. We have the Cyber Tech Alligator. We go to battle. Successfully taking out the Essel and dealing 1500 damage. A new hand, a new chance to push for some more damage. We're going to activate Metagius' 
effect here. That'll be a double attack on monsters. We're going to add the Stockbuster Dragon back to our hand. Going to be able to trigger its effect here to get reducing. Uh, Sora, I'm resetting your match as your opponent is back. And I'm gonna make an exception. Let me make sure I ping the right Sora here. Return to start GG. Your opponent is here. I will be making an exception due to the uh, website issues. Okay. Uh, I think some plant enjoyers are unhappy with the new Sun Avalon skill. What are your thoughts? Well, they're probably unhappy that it's asking you to play the deck like not Rika Sun Avalon. They it, the the skills have been designed specifically to make you play um, the deck kind of pure, and I think that's fine at least for now. Like. The entire point of Duel Links has been, one, make decks, make anime decks playable, two, make decks that never had a chance to be viable, be viable, and you can't always expect to be able to translate over fan favorite versions from the TCG and, and whatnot into Duel Links. So I'm assuming that's going to be what people are quote-unquote upset about. Just like how you explain Water Xyz to a TCG player? Pretty much, yeah. Um, okay. Sora and Turdak, I have DM'd you the, the room. I wanted to play Rika Sun Avalon. You technically can, you just can't use the skills provided. Like, nothing will stop you from trying to play the deck. BLS being the best deck for a while is the most Duel Links thing. Uh, that is an example, yes, but uh, unironically, um, like Guy Bassis said, Water Xyz being a deck that was meta not once, not twice, not three times, but like four or five different times, that deck just refused to die. And it was only possible because of a skill 
and had really unique interactions because of it. Uh, we are dead here if this goes through. Buffered Slime will keep us alive. This will be our opportunity to go for lethal. Maybe. Phoenix Dragon Effect. Get back one of our big boys. Metagius. Puzzling Valk. Using our effect to be able to do a double attack. Full Metal Fist. We'll go ahead and add one of those right back. What not anime Xyz deck do you want to come to Duel Links? Not anime? Um, that's a good question. What What is a non anime that could be like potentially meta? Digibugs is unironically a good answer. Uh, Exo Sisters is not a bad answer either. Because you could release Exo Sisters in a way that would be, like, balanced for the meta. Uh, we're missing a couple of the really good ones, Kisara. Like Registrider. Okay, sorry. I should have clarified. We're missing Registrider, but you could also give them, like, Galaxy Worm. That would also be a good card for them. That's game one. Um... Let me look at a couple I I need- I want to refresh myself. So, Xyz, unreleased. Non-anime. Ooh, I actually got a really good answer. At least for me. Uh, I think Springin'. Would be a really fun deck in Duel Links. Exo Blower would actually go hard in Duel Links. Uh. Let's see, what are some other good examples? Um, potentially Time Thief, I guess? I think Time Thief could probably be brought in a way that would be interesting. You'd have to be careful with the actual main Time Thief, um, boss mo a redoer because of its ability to, like, facilitate some weird, like, OTK, uh, not OTK, but, um, um, deck out stuff because of it being like every turn or whatever, but yeah, I think those are my answers. Um, 
It's Springin, Exosister, and uh, Time Thief. I want all of the Insector cards. What Insectors are we missing? Missing like exactly one card. Hello, VN Penguin. Uh, fodder X Cannon as well. What is it? Zek Trike Koa Ua or whatever. I think that's the only one we're missing. We go to battle. Ooh, there is a delay now. Recital goes pretty hard here. I'm waiting for Pearly. Pearly would be such a that's such a toxic deck though. Like I like the idea of Pearly, but Pearly is one of those decks that I I think would be really hard to balance. Um because, like, they had to make that deck just so ridiculously broken to be viable in the modern metagame. I'm not sure. Like, I can think of a bunch of different ways to depower other decks. But, like, you ask me to depower Pirelli, you would just basically have to, like, never give them Noir. Like, ever. They, you couldn't give them Noir. You don't give them the draw spell. Like, you, but then again, you also don't want to give them the, uh, like, you don't want to give them, like, um, any of this stuff. They're like, it's it's kind of like Runic and like Ad Emancipator. You would have to fundamentally change some of those cards to make them viable for the game. Just because, like, the, the, the basic way that they operate just does not jive with the, the format. Well, not even that, but what would you do? Like, you can't live in a world where you give them a towers or a monster that can attack like 37 times. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm misreading the situation, but we can go ahead and take out one monster here. I mean, surely there's one choice, right? Uh, you're, you're talking about goblin bikers, I assume, Laser Shark? So we do take out the seal array. Was there not a reason to use Torero here? Surely, surely we should have used Torero. All right. Buffered Slime will go through. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would be... You'd have a real... There are certain decks that just... Again, same question goes to something like Runic. Tell me how you make Runic fair and viable in a dueling style format. You just never give them destruction? You can't have a Banish 4... You, you can't take out 25% of my deck with a single activation of a spell. 
do you just never give them fountain as well? Like, <laughs> how do you make... Or how about at Emancipator? I'm going to uh, excavate five out of 16 cards. Gee, I wonder if I'll hit a rock. I love to watch your tournaments. Well, thank you very much, VPN or v, VN Penguin. Excuse me. That's very kind of you to say. I appreciate that a lot. I do these for the community, and I lo also love seeing a first-time chatter chiming in. Would love more people to become part of the conversation. You know, sometimes we gotta just yap a little bit. Um, I do apologize. I don't always uh, commentate. Uh, to the best of my ability, but I do enjoy just conversations as well. So we are going to go for the Trick Penguins effect. We're going to be able to add the Harpy Lady Sisters back to our hand. We will be able to once again take out one of these back, uh, monsters. I love yapping. I absolutely love yapping. It's not, it's not about not releasing them anytime soon. Again, you have to, like, fundamentally change how they work. Like, if you were to ask me, you have that whole, you know, co d changed for Duel Links rules, right? So far, it's only really been used for, like, um, uh, burn damage. But you can imagine a scenario, for example, let's say we reach the point where they can add, um, uh, they can add, um, Zeus to the game. Well, obviously you would never have a main phase two for Zeus because we don't have main phase two. But what you could do is make Zeus work end of battle phase, right? So if end of battle phase if an Xyz attacked you can overlay into Zeus you would pro you'd probably have to change it to be like only on your turn I guess but you can envision changing the fundamental way a card works to, to fit into the game same thing with runic and um, add Emancipator, but I think you would have to change the amount that they banish. So, like, for example, I think you would have to... Uh, Cat Lord, we're doing four rounds, top 16. How are we not able to go lethal here? Oh, we got greedy. We tried to go for game. Gonna be able to clear the two big people here. So taking out both of the uh, the Gius dragons. We likely still have at least. Two more in the deck. And we only have one seal array in the graveyard. We potentially have access to another. 
If we have Steel Array, it's just game. Okay, so we do have a double attacker here. Return the Stockbuster to our hand. Wait, that is how it works, right? Yeah, so we add another Gears to our hand. All we need is a normal summon on top of this or like a seal array. Okay. This will be game. Attack, attack. Gears clears. And then Essel for game. Whistling Bird will take game number two for a 2-0 victory. Well done. We're going into a game three here. We got Sora at the top. We got uh, Turdak at the bottom. This is going to be Sevens Excel Spellcasters versus uh, Machines. Going to go for the recycle here, reducing the Mirror Innovator. Thunder Spark will cause that to. Ooh, actually taking advantage of a Battle Trap. Very nice actually being irrelevant here steel barrage pop the back row attack one oh but we can't clear the other that is unfortunate sevens road witch bringing out the sevens road magician get bob boosted negate attack will give us another opportunity crafter drone assault cannon reduce gonna go for the mirror innovator we do have a back row to deal with here and it is a buffer slime, so we will protect ourselves from taking any damage. Magical Stream, pop that back row. It is a seven shift. Sevens Excel Road once again. Double Sevens Road Magician. This is so much damage, but not lethal. We will have another opportunity. Giorfio, I heard that you were playing in a league. Was it the um, Rush Duel? Um, the Rush Duel uh, League? Hmm. Why are you laughing, Sal? There literally is one. What? What's better, Xyz deck or Synchro? Like, in the game right now? Is that what you're asking? I want to make sure... I understand correctly.
So what you're telling us, Giorfio, is that you were responsible. All right, and that will be lethal. Recital cannot protect us. Tora takes it. So we're actually in a really weird spot right now where technically both Xyz and Synchro decks are doing well. So Xyz, you have Phantom Knights and Performage. And Synchro, you have Tech Genus and Shira Nui. Now technically, I would say Xyz comes out slightly ahead because of PK. But, and, and TG not being as great it's good but not great well no th the new version is actually pretty all right so i'd say they're fairly close happy happy monday you must be on the other side of the planet my friend but happy well it's still sunday for me but i will wish you a happy monday nonetheless thank you so much very kind of you to say All righty. Round four has begun. Final round. Uh, five to six, X2 will top. And we'll grab the screenshot as well, just so people can see it. I'd argue Shira plus TG is greater than PK plus uh, Clowns. Is it, though? We go Tournaments. Then Phantom Knight plus Performage is 32 decks. And Tech Genus plus Shira Nui is also 32. So technically they're tied exactly. A uh, new box has not arrived, no. It's, um... It's in, like, four hours. Four and a half hours, I think. What is the best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now? Again, I assume you mean Duel Links, correct? Because if you were to ask me what deck I would put my money on in any, any particular, like, tournament... It's probably going to be blue eyes right now. Although Shira Nui has been doing remarkably well lately. Many loves from Vietnam. Aw, thank you. That's very kind of you. See, it's kind of hard, though, because we're literally about to get a new meta. And unironically, several of the decks coming out in the upcoming box are going to be absolutely, well, potentially insane. So it's kind of hard to determine what the meta is going to look like afterwards. Because if we, if we bring this up... Um... DLM, please. Are you also getting... Okay. So, uh, Agents very likely has a chance to be absolutely cracked in this new box. Like, really good. I know that sounds weird to say, but the, the skill they gave Agents is borderline one of the most broken skills I've seen in quite a long time. Um... I think that Dark Fluid... <laughs> yes. I think that Dark Fluid, with the addition of Cyber Sage, is also potentially looking like it might be a pretty busted deck. Um, Trap Tricks 
probably becomes meta with their skill and the new support. Um, in for Noble Knight, I don't know if they're going to be like top tier, but they're going to probably going to be really good. Uh, so like one, uh, two, three, four, at least four new decks coming into the meta. Trap Tricks is ass. Well, we'll see. You say that, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I think I think you're going to see a lot of decks come out of this new box. So, it's kind of hard like what is the best deck? If they don't hit Blue Eyes, I do think unironically Blue Eyes remains a really good deck even going into the new meta. But maybe that's Cope too, I don't know. Reform Age can summon Rafflesia plus Dweller turn one right now. Uh, that's kind of spooky. Oh my god, I didn't actually think about that. Uh, you can't play Tretch, though, Luke, because Rafflesia is limit one alongside Treacherous. They thought about that. Uh, Giorfio, they're talk. Um, uh, they're talking about playing it in Perform Age. All right, so we are following Whistling Bird here, but this is one of the first opportunities we have had to. Uh, watch the Full Metal Gears skill deck. So we are able to clear and get in for some damage. Uh, Aim Eagle, Baboos, bring out the Barrel Dragon, flip those coins, and we nail it! Take out both of your boss monsters, set more back row. We're gonna go Crawling Torso, returns the Ghoulish Gal. gonna be able to ba boost add the metagius back to our hand use this effect phoenix dragon returns the dragius to our hand the estatoro we're gonna go ahead and recycle flip it down go for the dragius oh negate attack is devastating here barrel dragon flip those coins nails it again so we're going to be able to full clear here and get in for damage. Mirror Innovator Baboost! Monster Reincarnation, get discarding just to add an Avant Wolf to hand. This is going to put us at... That's just, that's exact lethal, isn't it? No, it's just over. Mm. 
Both of these players are undefeated, so they will both be going on to the grand finals <laughs> regardless. But like any true duelist, they're here to play. Not to get free rides. We're going to go ahead and set three. Pass the turn. We're going to go defensive ourselves, but we've got the benefit of some back row. Did we get a deck breakdown? We did not because I, I got distracted. I will actually do that right now. So I do apologize. We're going to go a little... Uh, we're going to go quiet for a moment. I am... We do fly and do these solos, so I hope you do understand. Uh, be right back. All right, breakdown is done. Just got to organize it really quickly. This should surprise no one, but it's still a little... Oh, boy. I will say the one surprising thing is only one deck at one. Everything else was at least two.
Okay. Edit com breakdown. Yes, I'm never coming back. Unlucky. So if in the 34 decks in today's tournament, we have 10 machine, no surprise there, four aggro, four blue eyes, three maximum Ragnarok, two full metal fist, two harpies, two maximum overload, two psychics, two royal rebels, two spellcasters, and one servant of dawn. Hello, chaotic chibi. Thank you so much for the raid. No noodles, as the one noodle player has abandoned the deck. Unlucky. Sorry, I ate all the noodles. You know what? Understandable. How are you guys still in game one? Oh, I guess it technically ha- I guess it hasn't been that long. Machines rise up as the most represented, has won the most events. Will they continue their dominance or will another deck be able to step up? Ooh, milling our legend here. Oh. Bruh. We're going to go for Forever Freeze, losing our Dragius. We are still going to be able to get in for 2,600 damage. Roman Pick activating. Going to go ahead and add the Future Diviner to our hand. We're going to go Rebeat, showing the Candy in our hand to grab a copy of Candy from the Graveyard. Tributing it off, we're going to be able to return the Roman pick to our hand. Roman pick back to the field, adding a copy of Speedy Performer. Speedy Performer will be able to boost up, allowing us to beat over. And uh, that is two. Oh, this is. Thank goodness for negate attack. We're going to be able to Roman pick again. This is very unlikely. Candy to the field. We're going to go jam up. Bring out the Prima Gitarna. Able to go in for a little bit of damage. But the seal array is likely going to seal the deal. Unless that back row can save us. And it can't because we got hammer crush deal. Pop it. It was a bluff anyways. Oh, but we can't actually go for lethal. We're going to go defensive. Just take out one of those monsters. Sanctity get reducing into a barrel dragon seal array. Reduce it even Further, get poppin'. We miss. Buffered slime will protect us from any of the damage, which would have been lethal. We're gonna go miracle here. Miracle, bring him back. Activating to add a copy of Peace Holder. Prima Gitarna into a negate attack. And Duan will take game number one.
Now, for those of you that do not remember, Dwan did take first place in last week's tournament, showing that Aggro could potentially have a rising place within the metagame once again. Do not think, do not go for any silly archetypes or attributes or types. Simply attack. Hello, Tinkerbell. And she's gone to the window. You will simply have to enjoy who and her showing off Ah, <laughs> uh, Kisara, it ended up not being the case, so I didn't need to. Don't pair you with Sora, it's gonna happen. Going for the barrel dragon here. Get flipping. We hit. It's just that easy. 2 0. There is a chance that X2 can top. A uh, new box should be like four hours from now. Barrage of Steel successfully hitting the negate attack feels good. We will miss the coin flip though. Unable to clear as Magician's Valkyria will wall us off. A pretty weak, all things considered, activation of Shield and Sword, but it does let us clear the board, so gets the job done. Ultimate Bond is going to get us a copy of Aim Eagle. Adding an Avant Wolf to our hand here. Attack one, attack two, clearing them from the board. Will we whale on or off stream? Honestly, probably off, because I'm. I'll probably be in bed and open them when I wake up tonight. I won't have the willpower to wait till tomorrow. 
And I also typically like to open on my phone anyways. Because, uh... I, I do the Google Rewards thing. There's a reason I have Platinum! Oh! We go for the maximum summon here. We are going to see if we what points we get. Wow, three. Literally robbed. But yeah. So we'll have the tournament tomorrow. Well, I mean, well, it'll be the the meta weekly, and then I will almost assuredly do a full ladder stream on Tuesday. Uh, I may also play a little bit before the meta weekly. It just remains to be seen. Rush ladder when? I already did that. I hit cog. Uh, you can go find it in the VODs. I played Cybers. With the new, um... Uh, Evil Femtron or whatever. Or Chaos Femtron. Uh, unironically, we maximum summoned, like... What was it? It was, like, four or five times in a row. Like, literally turn, like, maximum, 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 maximum. It was pretty ridiculous. Hacks don't count. We are able to clear here, but we have no defenses. We're gonna go crafter. All we can do is cr all we can do is crash here. Unfortunate. Seven's road get baboosted goes for three k twelve, putting us down to eighteen. We're going to go Bicorn here, allowing us to use this as an additional summon. But we are, in fact, going to just Baboost as an Avant Guard to the hand. Able to clear two of the three. Into a Maximum Summon. Bring forth Supreme King Magnum Overlord. Thankfully, we are lower life points, so there will be no Baboost, but... Ooh, we're gonna... I think we're still dead unless we have exactly, um... Negate attack, yeah. Barrage of Steel takes out the negate of their own. We're going to... Nah, dog, don't tell me. So this is Mirror Innovator here. Oh my goodness. Baboost! To 4200! Clear the maximum, get in for 25 and 15. Will lethal. Game three. But yeah, I was playing machines, but then I just decided to go with I wanted to I knew everyone was going to be playing machines, so I went Cybers cuz I felt like Cybers was going to be a lot better with the new card, and sure enough, it was what's my favorite yokai girl? I hate them all. And traps are cringe. 
But if you were to force me to choose one, like that I that I like like conceptually, it's probably a uh, ghost ogre. I think ghost ogre um, is neat in concept. You lose the card, but you, it, at least if it's a monster, you keep the effect. Baboost! Up to 4,900 damage. One back row here. Ghost Reaper made Burning Abyss Mirror's pain. Why do you feel hand traps were introduced? I don't... I don't... It's not a feel. They were introduced specifically to allow people to counter um, what the opponent was doing because of the speed of the game increased. But if you're talking about when hand traps were initially introduced, like stuff like um, um, Effect Veiler... They were just meant to be like, oh, here's an unusual thing. Well, t yes, technically the first one is Karibo. But the first, like, one of the first ones that people still use to this day is gonna be, like, Effect Veiler. And it was meant to be, like, this big deal. Like, oh my god, you say just use, like, how is he gonna beat this guy who's gonna FTK him? Okay, yes, DD Crow, obviously, yes. But I'm talking about the one. So, DD Crow falls in, like, okay. Yes, DD Crow obviously came before. But when people talk about hand traps at this point, they think about actively disrupting your, like, on field stuff. Right? Honest is, honest is something that I like. I like combat hand traps. So the fact that in Duel Links we had several times where something like White Princess was genuinely a meta choice, I thought was absolutely incredible. And, and actively was something that I uh, enjoyed and uh, thought was a, uh, a great direction for the game. Even stuff like Effect Veiler and whatnot, I don't mind. I think the hand traps that I don't like are specifically stuff like Ash Blossom. Or one and one. Go to game three. I understand conceptually why Ash Blossom exists. But to me, especially as decks have started to... As decks have started to power creep even hand traps, a card like Ash Blossom doesn't even feel like it punishes the meta decks so much as it punishes rogue decks. If you're the kind of deck like... If I go to play Harpies in the Year of Our Lord 2024, if I normal summon Channeler activate channeler's effect and get ash blossomed i'm like yes i die whereas any other modern deck just goes like oh that's fine well, i'll play this to dodge the effect and i'll play this and then i'll special summon and i'll do this you know just like the plus eight combos that you see and stuff like like snake eyes but like the rogue decks just lose to that stuff so i don't know I don't mean to turn this in like I don't mind certain hand traps. Like again, I don't mind effect veiler. Effect veiler is fine. Um I even conceptually don't necessarily like I just said that um Ghost Ogre is like actually probably one of my favorite ones. Just because I like the the choice that not choice, but I am trading you get the so it's like in a world where it's like I can effect veiler stop your effect. But you keep the monster, or Ghost Ogre, you keep the you get the effect, but lose the monster. Like that that duality of choice of like which one do I like? That kind of just stuff I find interesting. Um 
Idrago to the field. Get reducing. Get popping. Remove one of those back rows. Get in for 33. Put our opponent on the clock. Ooh, but it looks like we can do something. Go for the recycle here. We've got the mirror innovator. Baboost! Goodbye. No! No! <laughs> to the field once again. And that's just lethal. Giorfio takes it in game number three. All righty. Let us find who our lucky X2s are. We have Evil Sora. We have Manarchist. We have May 70. And we have Fion Phoenix. You topped X2. Top 16 has begun. Alright, gonna take this opportunity to do the top 16 breakdown. I will be right back.
Hello, Duel Links free to play. Thank you, Raiders. Thank you, my dude. Much love, big fan, dude. I was uh, I was lurking you when you were playing uh, Master Duel yesterday or the day before, whatever it was. God damn it. Always muted. I was saying uh, we believe in the psychic dream as long as they remain alive. Let us proceed. But yes, in the top 16... Four Machine, three Aggro, two Maximum Ragnarok, one Blue Eyes, one Full Metal Fist, one Harpies, one Maximum Overload, one Psychics, one Rebels, and one Spellcasters. Okay, so if you don't... I am not muted. Not muted. That's how. What song just played? Uh, it was Dual Pinch Last Boss from the Dawn of the Battle Royale soundtrack. Uh, I will share the link to you. Okay. Triple back row. We're going to be able to recycle here, allowing us to be treated as a double tribute. Bring out the innovator. Avant Wolf and Crafter Drone will be our follow up as well. We are going to go Innovator Baboost. Recycling one, two, and three, putting us up to 3,700. You ran out of honey? Damn, unlucky. Buffered Slime will keep us alive. We are going to activate Re-D-Beat, giving us access to our candy. We're going to go ahead and reveal check. Goodbye, Monster Reincarnation, gaining a thousand life points. We go to battle, taking out the innovator, but leaving the other two on the field. I pass back to you. Re smiley face. Do you want it to be re poggers or no? What is it? D colon or colon D re colon D. 
How come we don't have a tier list for Rush? Uh, you do via the Rush Duel Links Discord. If you mean from DLM, it's because there's no TPC through DLM. There is, however, a dedicated Rush Duel Links Discord, and they rate the tier list as such. Go ahead and bring it up on screen. In the S tier, Ultimate Bond. In the A tier, Noodle Art Reboot and Aggro. In the B tier, Death Doom Requiem Maximum Overload and Blue Eyes Rain. In the C tier, Maximum Ragnarok, Sevens Excel Road and Hysteric Force. And then in the High Potential, which I don't understand what they mean by that. How do you have high potential on a deck that already exists? Dragonic Resonance, Servant of Dawn, and Lightning Trigger. I do not necessarily agree with some of the choices here. I personally would put Maximum Ragnarok higher. I guess I'm not sure what I understand or what I what are the numbers to the right there like the one the three the three two is that like the collective vote Regardless, it's fair it's a fairly accurate representation of the meta, so you can't complain too much. We go to battle. There is a delay though. Buffered Slime, we will survive. All we can do is clear the board. Uh, we have none of our normal defensive traps left. How come no damage? The effect of Buffered Slime. Feels bad, just lost to Unga Bungalow Aggro. Well, Cat Lord, it does suck to lose, but I do appreciate you entering our tournament, as always. You, uh, you went undefeated in Swiss, and you get to carry that with pride. Appreciate you, bro. You rest well. You've earned it. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you for being part of this uh, tournament and part of this community. Rest well. We're going to go defensive here. Unfortunately, only able to put a single body on the field. Two psychics have a double tribute monster. Treated as two. So machine dragons. Flame Ruler. Why is Flame Ruler a legend? That is bizarre. Wait, what? Can someone explain to me why Light Effigy is not a legend, but Flame Ruler is. So cards like Dragius get a double tribute, but Fire is apparently the, the problem child? Am I missing something? So it looks like Psychics does not have one. Oh, I guess it does say. I don't know. That seems still seems weird. All right, unfortunately, Psychics will be out. Is that really a reason to make it a legend, though? I don't know, man. Are there any broken fire high levels? Uh, fire and level seven and eight. Let's Here begin. I go. Get ready for the rush.
Uh, I mean, there's like, oh, there's like 37 of, well, okay, some of these are fusions. Okay, Shock Dragon, Extra Spice, Volcano, Folder Blitz, Full Meteor Impact, Spice. I mean, none of these are seemingly especially broken. I don't know. All right, we've got Blue Eyes verse. Oh. <laughs> 6K exactly. El Silas will take game number one. Blue Eyes up a game. Happen in this duel. Get, Get ready, ready for, for the, the rush. rush. Okay, gonna be able to go for Atris shoot here, but a relatively weak board here. Soul Drake revive, Kaiba Man into another tribute to the doomed. Get pop in Babus. Babu's negate attack, the only thing that could have kept us alive there. Well, I mean, there are more, but we're going to pretend otherwise. Bell Spectacle Moni, going to recycle here, get reducing. Taking out two of the monsters, but leaving up one of the bright eyes. Nothing we can do about it. Torna. An, ooh, double, <laughs> double ability to, uh, to get flip in here. We're going to be able to baboose. Buffered Slime will keep us alive, but we are on the ropes here. Chaos Femtron adding a copy of Bell Spectacle Mani to our hand. Connector Dog, Dark Femtron using our skill here. We're going to go double Tribute Summon, Hydron Effect, Bell Spectacle Mani Effect. Get reducing. We are able to full clear in return. We're going to go Kaiba Man into a Blue Eyes, Soul Drake into a Torna, clearing two of the three, Ripple Back Row, Particle Accelerator, Poppin, Chaos Femtron returns the Idrago, which likely means we have... That's right! Bring forth Idrago! The Sky Emperor! And that's lethal on board. Our opponent will scoop it up! We go to game three. Which, you know what? Whichever Sora wins gets to be Sora. The other has to change their name. Official rule. The, the Sora that loses cannot enter tournaments going forward with the name Sora. We're going to go Essel Mill, but we will then immediately pass. Article Acceleration. Take out the back row. Chaos Femtron returns to Bell Spectacle Mani. Get further reducing. 3100, then we'll clear the board. Is Dark Sora allowed? Technically, yes. Partic Particle Acceleration once again. Uh, Cybers, there are a couple decks that really feel like they can play the back row removal fairly well. 
And I will say Cybers is one of them. Maximum Summon! Bring forth Idrago once again! And that's exact lethal! The unfortunate reality, at least from what I've been able to glean from what others have said, it's not that Konami hates psychics. They, f because of, Ko okay. Sometimes Konami, when they design stuff, they don't think about the interactions with other cards. And so something that should be for psychics only ends up being used by other stuff. And they don't do anything to fix it, like errata it, or ban it and then just create a new one that is, you know, fixed. So for some reason, they feel psychics would be too good. Konami might try and say that psychics are technically buffed because you're closer to being able to use something like um, the uh, the 2001 that can pop cards on the field or whatever, or the 1001. We're going to go for the bike horn effect. Do we have an additional summon? Yes, we do, Mirror Innovator. Going for the clear here. Esperade. Yeah. We're gonna go Shadow Buyer. Just a Baboos. Not able to clear though. Aim Eagle effect. Bringing out the Mirror Innovator once again. Clearing all but the middle. Death Doom Requiem. Two to the field. Fire Genie's Breath, what a god-awful back row removal. Gets pop in here, Buffered Slime will keep us alive. We're going to go Tribute to the Doom to take out one body. Piercing Samurai Effect gets in for some damage. And... Lethal. I don't disagree, Manarchist. You're, you're preaching to the choir, my friend. Wow, that one's already over. Game two. Am I going to stream the box's release? No. So I work tonight. So to give you an example, or to rather to... I, I, I have to be up at, for work at uh, 11 p.m. my time. It is 2.30 p.m. my time right now. The box would be at 6 p.m. my time. 
So, I gotta sleep at some point. Unfortunately, um, us playing around with the new decks is gonna have to wait till Tuesday. Uh, we'll have the Meta Weekly tomorrow, which hopefully should have people playing new decks. Um, and then, unfortunately, again, I'm like, once that finishes, I'll have to go to bed for work again that night, but that'll be my Friday. And then into Tuesday is when we can actually um, do ladder stuff. A little unfortunate with the timing, but not much to be done about it. Alright, decides to leave Shadow Buyer in attack position. Interesting. We're gonna go Barrel Dragon here. We do miss. Uh, expl uh, exclamation point room, Dr. Dinosaurio. Uh, hopefully you can figure it out. There is a delay. Buffered slime will keep us alive. Uh, yeah, some, a couple dream tickets do expire at the end of the month, so do, um, check your expiring dream tickets. Off the back row... We are going to be able to get huge here. We're going to go for the seal array here. Get reducing. I got the tin foil hat theory that they shadow nerfed barrel dragon. Yeah. This is a little spooky. What are we going to do?
Two back row. We have all of our defensive options still open to us. Nails the coin. But cannot push for lethal. Recital, protect. Sorry, I was just looking and uh, just noticed that uh, the uh, DLM Master Duel Meta Weekly is going on as well. So that means they got hit with the start GG issues. Unlucky. Growl effect, get reducing. We go to battle. Unfortunately, we do have the negate attack. I do wonder if... I do honestly wonder... If the lack, certain archetypes not having back row removal, I wonder how much of an issue that'll actually end up being. Because obviously spellcasters really benefits, dragon benefits, machine benefits, but then you have an archetype like royal rebels not having back row removal. Like, obviously, Royal Rebels had their chance to be in the sun. That's true. But, like, I do wonder how much some of these archetypes not having that is impacting them. Uh, Rock Hoppers, to, as, as far as I'm aware, if it doesn't destroy it, it doesn't exist. It's irrelevant. Alright. The unfortunate reality is that in most situations, you're not lethaling. No, 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 no. Corin, that's, that's, that is absolutely false. That is absolutely false. Because here's what's going to happen. You're, if you don't hit the defensive trap that lets you go for lethal, you probably hit something like, I don't know, a talismanic seal array. So you returning that to the hand is, like, irrelevant. They'll just use it next turn and then probably kill you. Like, I have never thought doing one of the, the effects, like, back to the hand was ever good. Ever. And... I honestly, honestly believe if anyone says 
Um, if anyone says that it's good, they're either, at least in my opinion, lying or a bit ignorant. I would, I would rather destroy something 10 out of 10 times. I'm sorry, I just would. Because I have permanently removed it as a threat. Muscovy, you're ignorant. Wow, Dwan, that happened one time in how many games? Like, if your rebuttal is one time out of a thousand games it was relevant, then... I'm sorry, no. A uh, fan Luna, I'm talking about back row removal, not monster removal. I'm Here curious I to know what will happen in this duel. Get, Get ready, ready for, for the, the rush. rush. Okay. We got Dragius into Trigger Drago, getting in for 2,800. Activating our skill here, get reducing Bell Spectacle Mani. Able to clear the Dragius here. We're gonna Hammer Crush deal, draw an additional card, pop one of those back row. Able to clear and get in for another 15. It's Rago to the field. Go ahead and activate our effect here. Get reducing. And we will just scoop. Uh, you get a, a negate attack on the next turn. Manarchist. It's that easy. That's the part that's hilarious too. The Psychic Back Row Removal costs you life points for a worse effect. At least the god-awful Royal Rebels one doesn't cost you life points. It's like, why would I pay life points for a worse effect? Can I pay life points to make it just a pop? Putting it on the top isn't bad. It's one less new card. So if I put... Okay, I just want to make sure I understand this, Shui. I put your negate attack back on the top of your deck, but I don't kill you. So then you draw, and you now still get to negate attack. What did I accomplish? Ragius double attack, 25, another 15. 
I'm not taking the joke. I will fight this one till the end of time because it actively upsets me. Reset runners shuffling our deck here because don't worry about it. Atra shoot, Bell Spectacle Mani. Reduce. Excuse me? Widespread ruin out of nowhere. Game three. Corin, I just like, I I just refuse to believe there is, because here's the thing: you say that, and yet, Royal Rebels and Psychics are both amongst the worst decks in the game right now, and the ones that are doing well are ones that have easy. I mean, obviously the skills matter more, but I I don't think it is any surprise that the decks that have the good skills and the good back row removal are doing well. Easy clap. As an outsider looking in, again, I can only comment on the, the, the rush stuff that I've experienced. To me, warriors, psychics, um, are, uh, have both been phenomenally bad. What do I think of Infernoble Gearfried? Do you think Infernoble will have a consistent way of getting out Charles? Um, so the lack... Oh, God. I'm, uh, hold on one second. Which is the one that we're missing? Uh, Infernoble... Um, the lack of Oliver, I think, is, uh, unfortunate. Also, the lack of Angelica. I do think Infernoble will be good, but it's not going to be one of the best uh, decks of the box. It's going to be, like, the third or fourth best deck in the box, but it will still be good, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but that that's just my gut instinct. Um, the lack of a new skill, which means that you'll be playing it in the Gear Free deck, is fine. It's not a problem. Will it be consistent? I mean, I think that Gear Freed, the, the Gear Freed skill was already good. The only thing it was missing was good level, um, a good regular monsters to go with it. I think the Infernobles will do a lot to make it better. Um, but it is undeniable that they are missing a couple of the tools that would make them, like, top, top tier. But I do think they will still be um, decent. Uh, let me see if I can pull up a sample deck list. Infernoble has image... In Infernoble.
Okay, some of these... Why, why are we posting... Okay, some of these lists are a little... Hmm... Well, I don't know if this is the way they'll end up doing it, but here's apparently an example. I'll be honest, I haven't actually checked out this one too terribly much. Maybe something like this. Who knows? Uh, just wait to wait. Wait for people to have a chance to um play around with it. So tomatoes up a game. Have I, have I seen the battle and boxer in for noble? No. So wait, if I'm not mistaken... I don't know. It's on Reddit. Uh, could you grab that for me, Atlas? Is there an Infernoble that summons if it's equipped? Um, again, I'm really not the person to ask about Infernoble. I've not really looked at it too, too much. I apologize. Uh, my focus has been more on the ones that are directly getting supported with skills, which is... Um, the agents, the cybers, um, the trap tricks. Hey, this is just a picture. Am I, am I missing something? Oh. I'll trust the process. Uh, well, there, there's also an example, although... Doesn't Battle and Boxer just make it, like, even more expensive? Which is unfortunate. It's not better than pure, but it's neat. Fair. And also, I do apologize. We are not in the top 16 anymore. 
This is the top eight. There are currently two decks that I'm potentially scared of being too good. They are um, post-Cyber Sage Dark Fluid, although that one's probably not going to be too good. But I'm sorry, you look at you look at a person having eight cards in hand on turn one, and you're just like, Konami, did we not learn our lesson with um, Raging Pendulum? And what happens when you give a deck that many cards? And then agents. Yeah, but Cyber's kind of... Fan Luna? Fan Luna, can we talk about the fact that, like, once you get to a certain point, every Cyber's monster basically reads Special Summon itself and Special Summon a monster from the deck or Graveyard? Ripple flip, get popping. But they aren't good though. What are you talking about? Extra deck limitations do hit link spam decks at least. I mean, you're you're not wrong, but at the same time, I think that's the intention of the second part of the skill. Being able to recycle your entire extra deck via the skill. Which theoretically gives you a second chance. What floodgate do they lose to other than like summon breaker? Weller, sure, I'll grant you that. I'm not saying that it's going to be broken. I'm just saying that I'm until I see what happens, those are the two decks that I'm potentially spooked by. We can't if we can get to a innovator, we could potentially just win off of lethal piercing. And we will just scoop it up knowing that the piercing is coming. Tomato will win it and move on to the top four. Well done. I mean, it, it may end up in a situation where it's perfectly fine and all these concerns. But again, I just, I look, I, I look at eight part starting hands and I go, this has a, the potential to be a little spooky. And then Agents, I am concerned that they may have accidentally gone uh, uh, 
may have just redone Tachyon again. Like Konami, did... How many times do you have to learn this lesson, old man? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm all for Tori being a meta character, because hopefully people, because she does have voice lines for most of the agent stuff, right? So that's funny. Let's begin. Get ready for the rush. Go Cyclone hitting the particle acceleration barrage of steel. It's the other back row. Excuse me? You cannot put... Bro. What are you doing? Gets reducing here. Cert dominance. Well, yeah, but you're taking so much more damage. Particle acceleration, pop the back row. I'm telling you, dude. A deck like Cyber is like, you know what? My opponent is most definitely. I mean, it doesn't matter because it's lethal here, but definitely not gonna get. Uh, chance to use that again. Whenever you are, get ready for the rush. I'm hoping we get a UR sale soon. Like, what? You hope that you, like, get lucky and pull a Machine Innovator Atlas? Is that what you're hoping? Putting our opponent down to 1,500 here. And, well, okay then. Pops the back row that would keep us alive. Cybers will move on to the grand finals. I love Cyber Sesso. Good deck. Here we go. Get ready for the rush. 
All righty, Sora at the top, Tomato at the bottom. We know that back row is Big Dej. We're gonna flip. Okay, first of all, Essel into Barrel Dragon. Come on, bruh. We're gonna be able to go for Piercing here. Get in for 18. Hammer Crush, pop that back row. We're going to go Blue Eyes, taking out the Barrel Dragon. A lone Blue Eyes against the world. Mirror Innovator, Baboost. All right, duel has been ended. My game crashed, unlucky. Waiting for game number two. I guess the one consolation is that game looked decidedly in uh, Tomato's favor. But still sucks to, uh, to DC regardless. I mean, Harpies isn't missing that much. Like, we're, they're missing exactly... Harpies, Pet Dragon, Phantasmal Dragon, Mirror Split, and Feather Storm. It's not 10 plus cards. It's like 4. Oh, you're talking Rush. Why hasn't Konami thought of making Duel Links only cards? They basically do RPG prints anytime they make bad cards for the modern game.
Milling are widespread. Feels bad. Attack one. Attack two. Attack three. And putting our opponent down to 1400. I mean, I do agree though, like, assuming that you want to, like, for a long time I have viewed, oh, hits the back row, doesn't return it to hand, doesn't put it to deck, it's just gone. No, for, for the longest time, I view both Duel Links and Master Duel at this point as potential forever games. Now, obviously, that may not end up being the case, but in a perfect world, w when you have a when you have a game that has already survived seven years and is at this point relatively stable, obviously, yes, we can have the whole conversation about the fact that it lost, a, you know, the the numbers after Master Duel's release, but that's kind of on Konami. But even then, since then, the game has been stable, right? Relatively, there's been some minor drift, but. For the most part, the, the player base has been fairly stable. There is a potential as long as you create enough cards for all these games to just be forever games. And the, the, the complaint of making bad cards made no sense until you consider that something like Duel Links becomes the place where bad cards go to thrive either because they can just be good in this different format or because um they have the opportunity to um be buffed up by skills like both ways means that bad cards no matter how bad they are have the potential to be good All right, lethal damage. Exactly, Corin. So my com like my complaints about bad cards kind of faded once I got into Duel Links. Well, maybe not um, not right away, but over time when I saw the way they started approach, I guess I guess actually it probably changed around the time that they started making skills for non anime decks. That's when my that's when my feelings really changed. Essel, milling Essel, and widespread feels bad. Attack one. Attack two. Three K to the dome. Activating ultimate bond here. Barrage of steel, remove that back row. Goodbye, talismanic seal ray. Eight 
Aim Eagle into Barrel Dragon. Barrel Dragon gets flippin'. Nails it! All right. Returns the favor, blow for blow. Seahorse Carrier with no Aqua. Now we have one. Now you will notice that we got rid of the Seal Array and didn't just bounce it or put it to the deck or whatnot. Which means that we kept... Wait, hold... Okay, never mind. We had another one. I take back everything I said. Hello, Orin. Unfortunately, no. I will be asleep at that time. We go to battle. What is this delay? Combustion crisis? Get out of here. We did not activate both effects. Sora, why? Will Tomato be able to capitalize on this, is the question. Adds the Aim Eagle back to hand. Innovator, get Baboostin. And that unfortunate oversight will cost him the game. Tomato will take it. Unfortunate. We go to the finals. Uh, Hunter, to be fair though, Agro should have won that one. Who wins? Tomato. Machine. Zaga, Zaga. Okay. 
You all have two minutes to vote. I mean, what was the argument for not activating both of them? What if it had been recital? Music recital. Same same move plays around it, right? I think you're early on in a duel that the the one extra mill is not something you worry about. But it's also not my place to judge. Alrighty, we have made it to the grand finals despite uh, Start GG's attempt to ruin today's tournament. Thank you to all the duelists who stuck around uh, to finish it off. Uh, really glad that you did. Glad that we will get to finish this. Uh, in the grand finals, we have Tomato on Machine, Zaga Zaga on Cybers. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go on in. Begin! Here we begin. go! Get, Get ready, ready for, for the rush! rush. Zaga Zaga gonna start off with one back row, which will be popped by the Barrage of Steel. We will be able to clear two of the three with two back row of our own. Maximum Ragnarok. Get reducing and tribute Baboostin. Bring out the Atrashute Hydron, Dark Femtron. Losing another Particle Acceleration, unfortunately. Two critical back row removal that we don't have access to. But there is no delay here. We will get in for some damage and then pass back to Tomato. Now, one option here is to get to a position where you get your opponent's uh, life points low enough, then your maximum can just secure victory and lethal. Realistically, the only trap we have to worry about in that scenario is a negate attack. Innovator, up to 3,400. Crafter Drone, discard, draw a card. Likely hoping to be able to draw into another high level. Monster Reincarnation. 
adding another innovator. Gonna be a lot of damage here. After buff boosting our monsters significantly, we're going to put our opponent down to 2400 and pass a turn. One back row, two innovators on the field. Is it happening? No shot. <laughs> Using the monster reincarnation, we're going to be able to add the missing piece that we need to bring out Idrago. The Sky Emperor get hopping. Reduce our opponent by 800. We go to battle. 2400. Pass back to you. You have one chance to out us. Oh no. Oh no! Don't tell me. It all comes down to a coin flip! Oh! Triple heads asserting dominance! Game number one. <laughs> Game two. We could have saved ourselves minutes and flipped a coin from the start. I know that there is no chance that I can beat you in a one-on-one -on -one fair duel. We bring this down to a coin flip. Ooh, double tribute set here.
Two face down, one in the back. Two cards still in hand. What are we going to do? What are we thinking about? I mean, Manarchist, if you want to get down to it, it comes down to... Uh, the cards that you open. What what cards did you draw? Idrago, the headpiece pass. Interesting. It's gonna be very easy for us to get punished here. Hitting negate attack is big. But, I don't understand why we didn't use our skill to recycle a piece instead. Tomato has an opportunity to deal an incredible amount of damage here. Maybe even lethal. Well, uh, no, not lethal. We don't have barrel. Brings out Tough Striker. Uh, Dwan, that's actually not a bad read. That would explain the long delay. Uh, is this just lethal? Well, that's unfortunate. Tomato takes it in a 2-0 victory. Well done. Despite the fact the machine will take another tournament win, Zaga Zaga still did an incredible job at bringing Cybers to the Grand Finals. Well done, Tomato. Well done, Zaga. Go ahead and choose the out. Wow. 96% on tomato. Four per Come on, believers. Where were you? I feel like this is like the rich getting richer. Yami Kisara, once again, man. You know what, guys? From now on, wait for Kisara to vote and vote the opposite. You will win almost 100% of the time.
Well, all right, we come to the end of another Rush Duel Grand Prix. Once again, I want to thank everyone for sticking around through all the issues that we had with Start GG. Looks like we were not the only ones. Uh, the meta weekly for Master Duel also got hit by it. Um, the If you are subbed to the DLM Discord... The Meta Weekly for Duel Links will be tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. Do consider signing up. If you are going to have a new deck, bring it! I want to see your new decks. Um, As far as what we will be doing with new stuff, uh, unfortunately, it'll be Tuesday. But we will definitely be streaming uh, new decks on Tuesday. So do look forward to that. If you like what we do here with all of our tournaments and whatnot, do consider joining the Discord where you can find out how to join these events uh, and also just help us support uh, the ability to continue doing them. Hanging out here, dealing with the ads, subscribing, etc. All allow you to help us keep this going and for that I do appreciate you all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and find somebody to raid. Um, we're going to go raid Icy. He'll probably stick around for new box stuff. Hi, Drewy. Bye, Drewy. Uh, do give Icy a lot of love, though. He does try and actually make uh, neat content. Mm. Alright. See you guys tomorrow.